everybody! Today we are going to make delicious, delicious snack. What dessert? Twisted donuts. Kwabegi in Korean. I've been making years and years. Long time. When I lived in Korea, I used to make this for my children. They love it. Whenever they came from school, they were, when they see this, they were so happy. All of my friends love it. And then this is also my favorite. We are going to use butter. So unsalted butter, two tablespoons. So one, two, two tablespoons. Put it here. Over medium heat. So well melted and remove from the heat. So this butter is hot now. I'm going to add one cup milk. Two tablespoons sugar. Half a teaspoon salt. Stir until all sugar is well dissolved. This is lukewarm, not hot at all. One egg. Milk and egg, sugar and salt. We make this. And then one package yeast. Let it sit for five minutes. Let's add flour. This is all purpose flour. One. Two, three. And then mix this. We don't need any other like special equipment. Using just your pot and then just add and mix it together like this. And my bread rolls, you guys are making, really you guys impressed me. Some of you guys made this with some cinnamon rolls and they added some other you know, coating and inside even the day put something like some sweet stuff in a Nutella and then always so many ideas you guys have. That is the flavor I can smell. We are going to let it rise for around one hour or one and a half hour until it goes to like expand to double size. You can use, you know, plastic wrap. I have my lid to fit this. How fast rises depends on the room temperature and also your yeast. Open. Oh my, look at this. Wow, a little warm here. So, deflate. What we are looking for is soft and smooth dough. I'm going to cover this again and one more time let it sit until the dough is doubled in size. It took 40 minutes for it to double size. Wow, look at this. Oh my God, so good. Eh? Like a balloon. I love this yeast smell. Okay, deflate. Very soft and smooth. Start with a quarter cup. So this is 16, almost equal size pieces. And then make a nice bowl. It's already, I see the bubbles. Wow. The so plastic wrap and cover this. Okay, and then let's start. So flour, 
uh, just a little flower and sprinkle like this. And then start. Center part start like this. Spread to both sides. This surface is too dry, not easy for you to make a shape. Your right hand, left hand, different direction. So right hand upward, left hand is downward. See? And then we are going to see the tension. So this is around 12 inches long. And then lift this both ends. Just automatically twist it. But we are going to twist a little more. And the part is you got to really pinch it. This. And then put it here. So start with the center like this. Make many, many ropes and twist it. See? Automatically twist it. Start from the center. Otherwise, later when you make this not even, the twist is like the one end is like a big, huge. Ending part is a little small, like a tadpole. We don't want to that kind of a shape. So you start this one because this center part is going to be folded. So it should be thinner than the other size. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I used to make a, almost like a 50, at least 50 at one batch. Always like I made it a huge amount and then huge container in the field. And then we ate this days and days. And also leftover, you can freeze. Freeze and then take it out, just at room temperature, maybe five minutes after, so you can eat it. If you like make a longer rope, you can twist many, as many as you can. But I think that three or four times is the best, you know, pretty. So a lot of good memories I think about, you know, while I'm making this. My last, last ball. Upward, downward. Now, this is my 16 babies. I'm going to wait until this each one is uh, expanded to double in size. It will take around 20 to 30 minutes. So 10 minutes after, I'm going to flip it over each one because the bottom part is flat. You know, but what we want is that all sides should expand, you know, all the round. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare some the coating. Sugar and cinnamon mixture. Two tablespoons sugar. And this is cinnamon. Half a teaspoon. And then shake it. After we fry this, and then I'm going to put these guys inside and then shake it, shake it, boom, boom. <laughs> and then that's done. So 10 minutes after, I will show you. You know, you remember the top part, because it used to be bottom, was a little flat. Now it's a plump again. You see here? Like this? Yeah, nice, beautiful. And then again, slightly like this. Flip it over like that. This is like a balloon, you know? So you can, you can really, Gently handle this. On here, you, these guys should keep, keep, you know, rising. I'm heating up my oil. Oil is around five to six cups of corn oil. And this is a 12 inch pot. I'm using large pot. I'm going to check out this temperature. It should be 350. And after, right after 350 degree reaches, we are going to turn down the heat to medium. Because if this is too high, 
uh, high temperature is going to be burnt. The color is too dark and inside is not cooked properly. See, 352. Okay, time to turn down the heat. Medium. Pick up this guy really gently and push this into hot oil, like that. And just flip it over like this. I'm going to just fry until where well, outside is really crispy. Inside is like fluffy, around three to five minutes. Next batch. Wow. Put it here, it's warm around here. Okay, and then again, Flip it over. Let's look at this color. So, beautiful golden brown. So I'm going to wait until the bottom part is also like this. You can hear the crunchy sound. Done. It took five minutes. On both sides make it really golden brown color like this beautiful and then strain this here just gently this is look at this so pretty so i'm going to coat this guy And then shake. Wow. So, isn't it pretty? Well, let's go back to our kwabegi. It's growing in the hot oil. So, second batch done. Four guys left. My last batch. Okay, everybody. Today I made 16 kwabegi. Yeah, this is good party food and good snack. Look at that. So fluffy inside, eh? So delicious. This one is, um, when I was a uh, high school, high school, for the first time in my life, I tasted this. After school, there is a place that, you know, almost uh, only 300 meter distance, there is a small kind of store. People are always lining up inside the pack, and they kept eating. Huge, huge pot there is just boiling in the oil, and they make this like a huge amount. I tasted it for the first time this kwabegi, this style, and I, you know, I loved it. I never thought about learning how to, how to make this and forgot about this. Years, years later, I married, I just raised my children, and then, you remember, I made some the bread rolls. The bread rolls I learned from my, one of my friends. She's really good at cooking. I learned this, how to make it from her. You know, if we know how to make this, think about how exciting it is. You can make this kwabegi forever. Kwabegi, kwa. Kwabegi means twisted. So kwabegi, right? So twisted donuts, kwabegi is. I will have one more. Mmm. Crunchy, sweet, fluffy. Mmm. Make this for your family, for your children. They will love it, okay? Mangchi kwabegi, I made. Just let me know how yours turns out. Enjoy my kwabegi recipe. See you next time. Bye.